<laughs> so, what are we doing today? Mm, making a video about the worms. Yeah, so we're going to bring back the worm bin. We'd gotten this uh, 360 worm bin a couple years back. And, uh, two. About two years ago. And what was it? Was it last year? No. It was the first year we were over here. We ended up getting that. Messing up the pH in the bin. We put a bunch of potato skins in there. And the worms yeah, you just out. like, you threw them in. I didn't throw them in. You guys threw them in. Yeah, but then, then they, you read up that their well, um, potato, old potato skins are toxic to worms. So when the worms started trying to compost them, they died. Well, I don't know if it was that was necessarily they were toxic to them, but the it messed with them. It, it messed things up, basically. And then there was these like weird white things. They were different kinds of worms that were yeah, messing around. Yeah, those are around. called pot worms. They were messing around. So just to kind of review, um, they were running a special when we got this kit originally. I think it was about 120 bucks to get all this. Five trays. And there's cheaper ways of doing it. I mean, you can make a worm bin out of like a Rubbermaid tote. You can use like a little um, gallon and a half bucket. I mean, there's all This is a gallon. Of, this will hold a gallon of liquid. Um, so anyway, it was a little bit of an investment. And uh, we decided we're going to try to bring this back and learn about worms this year. So... Oh. The instructions, I mean, it's pretty much the, the highlights on um, what needs to happen. So and 60 degrees is ideal. Yeah, like it's supposed to be 40 to 80. Yeah, and that may have been one of the other problems that the temperature was a little off. But anyway. There's also the onions. We're going to get this started again. Uh, it came with five trays. I think the normal setup's three, and like I said, they were running a special where you purchase the bin, you got two extra trays, uh, these quarter-inch holes. And the way it works is, well, it's got this little worm ladder here, so if they get down, work their way through the bottom tray and fall into here, they get a way to work their way back up into the bedding to get the food works on the premise that the uh, we're going to go with the red wigglers yeah they're like really good at composting yeah and uh, they like to feed they have an upward feeding habit so what, what it, that means is that if you get a tray that's they pretty well them. finished compost you can put a new tray i can get it later and they they eat up instead of down yeah so they'll go up into the new tray the new bedding and start feeding on the uh, the new food source, and once you're confident that they're uh, they're up there, you can pull the tray off. And like I said, it's not I've got it down too far right now. But the other thing you can do is in the uh, if you get it dual stacked like this, you can open the top. Oh, is that going to be our bedding over there? That's going to be some of it, yeah. And we can expose them to light, and they don't like light, so that'll drive them down into the lower lower tray, and that's another way of getting them out of the tray that you want to harvest from. So anyway, uh, pretty nice setup. Each tray can hold about 2,000 worms, ideally. So, I mean, you can get quite a bit of castings out of this system if you we work it right. We also have the bunting onions. Yeah, and the idea is that you just rotate the trays through. You keep adding trays, and then you harvest the trays on the bottom, so on and so forth, and you just keep it going. So we've ordered uh, one pound of worms. Which is 1,000. Which is probably about 1,000 worms with the bedding and stuff. As far as the bedding goes... Oh, um. the, the first thing, bud, is you're supposed to put a layer of newspaper on the very first tray. Yeah, that's what you did last time. You got all well, this old newspaper. You're supposed to put whole newspaper down, wet it down, and that prevents them from cool. going down through the first layer initially. And then once the bin's going, you don't do that again. But 
For the bedding, we've got a couple options. We've got a bag of bedding, but we've also got uh, a ton of this leaf mulch. And they like leaves, so I'm going to read up on this, but we'll probably use a combination of this. Uh, you can use newspaper, you can use coconut core. We're going to use, I think, fall leaves. Right, bud? Because we have those, like, ten bags, the ten trash bags full of In the leaves. backyard, yeah. They're like rolled. They're big, aren't they? Uh, having carbon in the bin, like leaves or newspaper or whatever, keeps the smell, uh, keeps, it absorbs the odors of whatever food you're putting in there. Uh, I guess the other thing is that when you're putting food in, you're supposed to put it in like a corner or like a clump so that they congregate to that area and you don't want to like fill the whole bed. Don't want it too moist because that attracts pot worms and um, uh, little mites, things of that nature. I mean, there's all kinds of organisms that we'll probably see in the bin as we're kind of experimenting with this thing. And uh, so it should be fine. It came, came with a lot of accessories, just a little, little uh, drip pan to collect the uh, compost tea. A little juice that's produced. There's a scraper to clean clean out trays. Harvest castings that are wet, maybe. There's a little rake. There is a bag of pumice stone that's down there to kind of mix in. And there is a little uh, temperature gauge here to measure the heat. You know, how hot it is because you don't want Hey, look, it's going up. Yeah, it's because you're holding on to it, man. Don't break it. So, anyway, we'll see if we can't get this going. I'm Should almost, be fun times. I'm almost 90 degrees hot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bud. Well, um, let's get this thing set up. Till next time. Happy gardening. Bye.